Item number five is Senate Bill 442 by Senator Goodwin, an act relating to education, Community College of Rhode Island, President Gallo. Thank you, Mr. President, members of the Senate. It's my pleasure today to manage this for my good friend, Whip Goodwin. This legislation would name the Newport campus of the Community College of Rhode Island, the M. Teresa Piva Weed campus. This is the legislation that originated with the community members in the city of Newport, and which would be, fitting, would be a fitting tribute to a leader who has been a true pioneer for women and for education in Rhode Island. The chamber overwhelmingly passed similar legislation last year, and over the course of two years, the Senate Committee on Special Legislation and Veterans Affairs heard supportive testimony from a variety of Newport residents and officials. Among the Newport residents offering supportive testimony were former Mayor Jean Marie Napolitano, longtime education leader Joey Vagaines, District Court Judge Colleen Hastings, and Diana Crowley, the widow of one of the finest and fiercest education advocates our state has ever known, Representative Paul Crowley. Additionally, CCRI President Megan Hughes has expressed support. CCRI submitted testimony which reads in part, from her first day as a member of the Rhode Island State Senate in 1993 until her last day serving as Senate President in 2017, Senator Piva Weed was a fierce advocate for the city of Newport and equally for access to high quality, affordable public education. Piva Weed was among the first and the strongest voices in support of the Rhode Island Promise Program, which has dramatically increased access to the completion of college for thousands of Rhode Islanders. She also was an advocate for the state's P-TECH program, including the one offered through Rogers High School and CCRI, which offers Aquidneck Island High School students the opportunity to earn an associate's degree in cybersecurity while simultaneously attending high school. This program has been a model for other school districts and lessens the financial burden on <clears throat> Excuse me, and lessens the financial burden of college for hundreds of families. As many of the members of this chamber know on a first-hand basis, Teresa is an incredible advocate in her own right, particularly for Newport and particularly for quality education. She was instrumental in the redevelopment of the north end of Newport, and hers was a vital voice supporting the development of CCRI in Newport. Her advocacy helped to ensure that CCRI Newport was more than just a building, but a true vibrant campus. Her achievements to improve education in Rhode Island are second to no one. Among the highlights were her critical support, along with myself in the development and implementation of an education funding formula. We were right there together all the way through. She helped develop a 21st century mission for CCRI, her shepherded, <clears throat> she shepherded into law initiatives such as the Rhode Island Promise Scholarship Program for CCRI and the historic school construction bond that led to the improvements of school facilities throughout our state. Teresa is a leader who has never stopped breaking the glass ceiling. In this chamber, she was the first woman to serve on the Senate Judiciary Committee Chair, the first woman to serve as Majority Leader, and the first woman to serve as president of the Senate. She's a person of the highest character, someone the students of CCRI Newport and indeed residents across Rhode Island can be proud of. CCRI is home to four campuses and two satellite campuses. Three of the four main campuses are named for Royal Knight, William Flanagan, and Edward Liston. I would note that each of those individuals was alive when the buildings were named in their honor, and indeed that is very much in keeping with the tradition regarding higher education facilities, including the Lincoln Almond Plaza at URI, the Robert Wagan Plaza at URI, and the John Nazarian Center at Rick. Less common and sorely needed, of course, is to designate such facilities after pioneering women. We have the opportunity today to name this Newport facility, which is making a real difference in the lives of so many, 
in Aquidneck Island residence after a woman who similarly has made a tremendous difference for Newport and for education. Mr. President, I move passage. President Gallo moves passage of the act seconded by Senator Pearson, Senator Oyer, uh, Senator Lombardo, uh, Senator Lombardi, uh, Senator Miller, uh, Senator Chicone, Senator Sosnowski, Senator De Palma, Senator Brittle, Senator DeMario, uh, Senator Lawson, Senator Zuria, Senator Mack, uh, Senator Picard, uh, Senator Cano, Senator McKinney, Senator Burke, Senator Bell, uh, Senator Raptakis, Senator Lauria, uh, Senator Murray, Senator Ujafusa, uh, Senator Takoyan, and uh, Senator <laughs> Senator Casada, I'll, ne I'll never forget your name. Is there discussion on the resolution in front of us? Senator Bell. Uh, thank you so much. I, I rise to second uh, President Gallo's excellent resolution here. I think that um, uh, former uh, President Piva Weed was uh, a great stateswoman and someone who uh, merits this honor. She worked really hard, and I think she made the state of Rhode Island a better place, and I think this is a fitting and appropriate honor uh, to convey. Thank you, Senator Bell. Uh, further discussion on the act? Clerk will please unlock the machine. If all members have cast their vote, the clerk will lock the machine. There are 33 votes in the affirmative, none in the negative, and the act passes.